Hello guys, welcome to episode 2 of Sky Factory. Thomas Timo here um, on our island, uh, which has got a bit bigger since the last time. So, got some trees on the go. I've got a bed now. And uh, yeah, I've put a barrier up because uh, I, ha I have fallen off a few times. <laughs> So we needed that. I decided to put this up here because I wanted to get a bit higher up. I had two uh, giant trees grow and they were a bit of a pain to chop down and I used loads of um, crops to do it. Crooks, not crops. But they did really... Um, kickstart me going actually uh, so I've decided now to pop some platforms up around uh, around the trees made this area here which I think we're going to use for um, to make some farms so that's that for that um, Need to get on and chop these down actually. Right, where else are we? Um, I can't remember now because I cut and paused and started the video so many times what I actually recorded and what I have not recorded. I've done a book, which we'll get the book out quickly. These are uh, uh, sort of kind of suggested achievements to try and um, do through the game. Uh, do those ones in a minute. Oh, um, where I've been putting these half slabs down, some of them have dropped down and I've just decided to um, stick another one on top. So there are a few. Um, full blocks around here and the first uh, mob that spawned happened to be a creeper which caught me by surprise I think he may have spawned on top of one of the big big trees actually to be honest um, and dropped down but it caught me by surprise and <laughs> took out a big hole in my deck and uh, took bottom of a couple of trees out didn't kill me, thank God. So, so what we've been doing is how many saplings? We've got plenty in there. So it takes eight saplings to fill one of these up. And you fill this barrel up, and then uh, that slowly but surely, I think that's fertilizer or something, compost or something like that. Anyway, that turns into dirt. So we've got our dirt and we have to put our dirt through the sieve. We put our dirt through the sieve, keep right clicking and sometimes you, you get different things. Uh, so I've got three stones there, there's not a lot you can do with three stones, you may need four to make cobble. Right, let's get our book out, I had to spawn this book in and uh, so I filled it out. So we've got to build a, build a cobblestone generator, build an automated cobblestone generator, infest a tree with silkworms. So we've done that. I don't know how we can um, kind of edit this because you can't seem to go up and down with the arrow key or to put a tick or a star by them. Um, so we've done that one. Craft a sieve. I've done that. Collect rainwater in an oak barrel, which I've done, but haven't used any of it because I can't pick it up. Build a proper house. Make an ink farm, which I have no idea how to do. Build a second layer to your item below the level you started from. Might die a few times trying to do that. Make a slime farm which I presume we'd need to build out to try and find a slime chunk for that. 
build a trophy room. Open 10 lucky blocks. I don't know what lucky blocks are. Transmit power wirelessly. Turn pink into power. Create power from three different fuels. Store a liquid in a container other than a bucket. Automate a farm with a harvester and a planter, which soon as possible because it's getting a bit tedious chopping trees down. Use an autonomous activator to automate a sieve. Use a turtle to automate something. Use a transition plane to farm something. So I'm going to have to look at what a transition plane is. Create a pigman based gold farm. Don't know how to do that, so that's going to be another learning curve there. Store 1 million cobblestone in deep storage. Make an automated bacon farm. Create three different types of experience farms. Use an AE assembler. Yeah, let's flick through these a bit quicker. Use a crucible to create an automatically collected infinite lava farm. Place 20 unique open block trophies in your trophy room. Um, keep pressing done there. Uh, fly, suicide aka void sandwiches. Wild tasty, do not count as flight. Uh, okay, so we got fly, so we're going to need. I don't know how we can make her. Oh, we could use a glider for that, couldn't we? Go to the deep dark. Create a village large enough to spawn iron golems. Collate, collect five blaze spawners from the nether. Activate a digi division sigil. Sig sigil. Sig sig anyway, and create a builder's wand. Ooh. Yeah, explosive bricks. Kill a wither. Kill an ender dragon. Craft an octopus octopal compressed cobblestone activate done that that's done that one twice hang 90 item frames in your trophy room that's basically the end of that so let's pop those in there let's um, try sieving a bit more dirt and see what we get it's going to be getting dark soon So, we got four stones from that one. I think all we get is stones from, oh no, a birch seed. So, first things we want to try and do are, um, I need a furnace. It's two cobblestone. Yeah, I definitely need a furnace um, because I could do with making some torches, I think. Let's pop all that up in there a minute. Um, and we will sleep so we don't get any mobs spawning. 6.32, you can sleep. Right, so let's um, grab some crooks and um, we'll see if we can get enough. Stuff out of these to uh, make um, some more dirt. And then we might make a hammer actually, because you can make a hammer and that will um, convert dirt into different things. So, you can get to the top of these now. So, yes, I didn't think there was much point in recording for this because it has all just been me really waiting for trees to grow which certainly isn't much fun to watch 
that's for sure. If you only really average sometimes about three saplings out of um, these big trees. These well, these kind of standard trees, but the big tree did generate me about 50 or 60, I think, so they're quite nice. So I might. Well, I suppose if I can get to the stage of automating, having a um, uh, factory reloaded farm, then we'll be uh, flying, getting the saplings going. I'm going to automate that somehow into that um, into those panels, I think. So yeah, you want to make um, lots of the crooks because you do uh, get through them quite quickly, really. That's what I suggest, anyway. If you're just starting out on this pack. So yeah, don't go using up all your wood building your platform out. fast in that one. So we've got a good couple of um, pieces of dirt there. And uh, get on and make a mob spawner as well I think. made a mob spawner actually um, but it didn't it didn't really work that well actually in one of the old um, let's plays I did so hopefully we'll be able to do a bit better on this one because our only source of food at the moment are apples up in here. And eat that one up. And uh, I'll chop all these down and get them replanted and then I'll come back. Hey right, guys, we're back. Um, okay, I got that done. A couple more grew in between. Let's take that one out there, take those three out. Um, so we've got two bits of cobble there, we've got three bits of dirt, so if we're lucky, let's do two of them and then we'll, then we've got, yeah, let's do all of these. And got three from that one. We got five from that one. And another three. Right. Um, so, and then we're going to go and I think we'll try and make. Uh, I think it's like this. We make a hammer. Right, and then what we do is we pop our piece of cobble down and we hammer it and we get some gravel from that and then I think if we put our piece of gravel down we get sand and we put a piece of sand down 
And we hit that and we get dust. And that's the last thing you can do. Then you put dust in here and you should get some quite special items. Ooh, blaze powder. Nice. Okay. Um, I do need to make torches, don't I? Um, so let's keep that like that for the moment. We're getting plenty of uh, wood. And we've got enough there to make another piece of... piece of cobble. So hopefully this episode Oh, let's put the uh the wormy thing in there. Is that all done? So when you've infested these, you see where you get all your string from. God, crooks have run out already. This is where you get your string from to make your sieve. But that sieve, by the looks of it, doesn't seem to have um, doesn't seem to wear down at all, so once you've made it, the only reader is I'm not sure what we can do. I wonder if we could put string in composter. Then 18. Crush it. So uh, it takes a lot of string. What's an acorn? What are we going to grow out of an acorn seed? An acorn tree. Should I plant in that here? Can we eat acorns? We don't necessarily need the crop thing then to do. Oh, I wonder if we need. Oh, it's a birch seed. Give us a birch tree. Oh, yeah. Birch sapling. No problem. Not really going to do a lot apart from just give us. Um, Obviously hasn't quite changed yet. Definitely needs to automate this. This is a bit like the grinder I have applied energistics. Eight. Oh, six, six. What do we need? Eight, two more. Nice. Right. What's that? Spruce. And that's another type of tree, isn't that? Is that one of the big trees? We've got six out of that one. Yes, we need a furnace, and then we use the cobblestone then um, to make a crucible. And then from that crucible, we can make lava. Apparently. And that will make us a cobblestone generator. So I don't know whether to go for the cobblestone generator to make a kind of old fashioned one, or whether to use thermal expansion. So we need to try and get to a stage where we're getting iron. So I have to go and look that up on the 
on the roof here actually. That always flips me around that, so I might end up having to cover the whole of this up. by crook. I always thought the crook was for a shepherd, not for chopping down tree leaves. So they can grab them round the neck. Right. These are growing fast. I'm going to put that, I'm going to take that one up. I'm going to put that in there. Oh yeah, because that's quite, yeah, they've got gaps on it though, haven't they? Might end up with, also, oh, we get mushrooms actually off of those trees, can't you? Anyway, if anybody has some suggestions on where to go and what to do, or the best ways to uh, crops gone, best way to go about some of this stuff. Especially building a spawner and things, if anybody can uh, <coughs> take me to if we've got anything in any of these. A video or anything like that, which is a good one. Then I'll build it. Um, Nine of those I do. Yes, because like I said, the last one didn't come out very successful. I'm pretty sure you've got to be 23 blocks high, something like that. So, and you kind of need water to wash the mobs down into. So that's the next thing on the list, isn't it? What you're going to need, the best thing I think, would be an aqueous accumulator. So we're definitely going to want to try and get some way of creating... It's going to get dark again in a minute. Don't want loads of mobs spawning there top of my trees and blowing me up. Not yet anyway. We could make some armour actually. Kit ourselves out. Ooh. Don't want those to disappear, do I? So yeah, this is what a lot of the start of the game is, basically. Uh, yeah, you're just a lumberjack for how many days have I done? 27, but so I think we're on day 3 on the last video. 27 days, 24 days of doing this. Well, it's been fun actually and uh, I am thoroughly enjoying it. I'm quite looking forward to making um, quite an impressive island I think. Get on and see if we can get to the point where we can um, build mountains and things. Make it look like a 
proper Minecraft world. Spawners going. Get to the nether. Does that parkour? Chuck two then. I think I ought to be cutting this lot out, really, and uh, coming back as the trees are growing quite quickly now. I think I can. It's not going to take me like three days to make a video because we are getting quite a lot of saplings. So I think after kind of got these chopped down and replanted, from then on. I'll uh, start pausing it on the on the farming bit, and uh, just come back when we're doing some sieving and getting all the good items that take us forward in the game. I think sure you're going to get bored of watching this as much as I get a bit bored doing that. Right, that's, uh, I've got two bits of dirt there. So, what we'll do is we'll take that one out there I think. And well, what did I need? I need one more, don't I? Um, to make a furnace. So that should give us a furnace, hopefully. Yes. Why didn't I get a uh, achievement for that? Right, so what do I, what's the best way to do this? I think it's, is it st is sticks the better way? How many sticks does it take to burn that? So it would have taken two. So that'll do eight of those, wouldn't it? Right, anyway. Okay. So yeah, what I'm thinking is we'll take some of these and we'll see what we get out of um Oh I've got some seeds. Ten stones. Bonus. Okay. Oh, that's a bit pathetic. That tree. <laughs> it's got less uh, stuff on it than. Uh... Right. So we'll turn that one, I think, into a bit of gravel. And we'll keep that. 
and then we'll turn that one into sand I think was the next one and then let's sieve these and see what we get I presume that we're going to get flint are we like this I don't think I got anything out of that, did I? I think on the odd occasion you don't get anything. What did I get out of that? Oh, gold. Nice. So, like it. Like it, like it. We need gold. I wonder how many of those it takes to, to make something decent. Right, so we could do, um, hmm, got to get a bucket, haven't I? Got to get a bucket. Need, 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 need a bucket. Um, right, let's get, I think the mobs kind of spawned up over here somewhere, but let's pop, uh, ooh, we've got saplings lying around here, pop one of these in each space here. getting the odd mob spawning over here at the moment. I could do the uh, F7 trick, couldn't I? Fairly well protected, we don't want to be blowing up. I think I'll pop that there. And uh, one there. That looks pretty good to me. Right. trees are planted aren't they we got what's that hop seed ascend a glitch not sure what a hop seed right let's put those in there because I don't think we can do much Um, right guys, I'm going to chop uh, some more trees down and I'm going to go and have a look on the wiki actually and see what we do get from sieving different stuff before we waste too much and I'll be back. Alright guys, I've just checked the video. Um, that's gone long enough I think and um, So I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry that there was quite a lot of uh, tree chopping. Um, hopefully uh, in the next episodes coming up there certainly won't be so much of that. I'll um, cut that out. Well I'll pause it when I do it because it's not absolutely fantastic at doing the editing. Um, it all comes out a bit jumpy. But we'll just pause it well until we've got stuff to do. So thanks for watching guys and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.